we are victims. What's going on, folks, and welcome to another reputized f f f f f f video. Venom is the latest comic book adaption. Stars Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Riz Ahmed, or Ahmed, or however you pronounce his name. Sorry about that. It follows this news reporter played by Hardy, who gets this parasite in him. He tries to do a news report on this evil guy who runs this corporation and does like tests and simulations on people with this symbiote is what they call it but it's actually alien like so he gets tangled up in it and he actually gets infected himself he tries everything to try to stay alive it's one of those anti-superhero movies kind of like Punisher but not as brutal but it is kind of spawny I always thought Venom and Spawn looked so much alike but that's just me. Alright, here we go. This was one of those movies that I had been anticipating for a while. Yes, next to Halloween, but that's a different video. The characters, it was a great build-up. I liked this movie. It was pretty good. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Tom Hardy's portrayal of Eddie Brock was awesome. I like that actor. He's, he's pretty good ever since he shined the screen for me. Anyway, as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, he's become one of those iconic actors that everybody can't stop talking about. And with good reason too. He's, he's a pretty good actor. The editing by Marion Brandon and Alan Baumgorton was done pretty well. It wasn't choppy. There wasn't no shaky camera. Thank God. The lighting was just perfect. It was done pretty well. The action sequences, even the CGI, when Venom shows up, it was awesome. It didn't look cheesy. I thought it looked a lot better than what Spider-Man 3 portrayed it as. The cinematography and the lighting was done very nicely. It looked like it was done by people who knew what they were doing. Lodwick Branson's score was done pretty good. It gave you that feel of a good action film. You always have to have a good score in a movie. No matter what it is, you always have to have a good score because that's what makes a movie come alive. That's what makes a production, whatever you're making, come alive. Ruben Fleischer, his direction was done pretty good. It was directed very well. I got what the story was trying to tell. It was clear cut. It was sound. It was straight to the point. And I, I liked what I saw. I really did. I, you know, he, he knew what he was doing. The writing was done pretty good as well. I mean, it, it had a straightforward story. You understood what was going on. It was one of those feel-good anti-superhero movies that you expect. It's not a part of the MCU. It is not a part of the Spider-Verse. From what I could tell and from what I read up on it before I went and seen this. Because I was very interested. Kevin Feige, who is the executive producer and the man pretty much behind all these comic book movies and comic book adaptions, was actually considering on piecing it with the MCU because the Spider-Man content already got grabbed. You know, they already did a Spider-Man movie inside the MCU. I, I don't blame people for thinking, well, they're making this Venom movie and it's from the same company since they bought Spider-Man out. Could this be a part of it? But sadly, it is not. But that's not a bad thing. This movie was actually pretty good for what it was. The MCU is like the Mac Daddy of all superheroes. And whenever a, a superhero movie goes solo and it's not a part of the MCU, that's usually a bad thing, but not for this one. Not for me, anyway. Venom was done really good, and for me, it really didn't need the MCU to save it. I thought it was good for what it was. The pros, it was awesome action. The CGI didn't look cheesy. Like I said, I thought it looked better than Spider-Man 3. They made Venom more humanizing in this. As soon as it entered Eddie Brock's body, it became human. And there was a bunch of comedy, there was a bunch of funny jokes in this, especially when he kept on hearing that voice in his head. Oh, who was that? Who was that? So yeah, it gave you that comedy vibe too, and it was really awesome. <laughs> I was almost laughing out of my seat, not as much as night school, but it was pretty funny at times. All right, the cons. It does take a little while until Venom actually shows up. It does drag on a little bit at first. The comedy, I think, kind of saved it for me. But again, that also doesn't happen until maybe 
like 30 minutes into it. I thought it was a good build up. You actually understood the characters before anything else happened. And that's what you want in a movie like this. You want people to care before anything happens. The villain was a w little weak. There were, wasn't really much there. When, it, when the third act happened, that's when it really built up for me. The villain, that is. My final thoughts on this is it was a good movie. It was a good comic book adaption. It was good action. Good CGI. It didn't look fake at all. It was good storytelling. Good acting. I'm going to give Venom a B+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. What did you think of Venom? Leave me a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace the rip out.